Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Um, again, I'm Shalai Sidnor, owner of Shalai Sweet Sweets. And today I just want to slide through your timeline to give you all the tea on Joe, on President Joe Biden's new mask mandate. Okay, so he signed a new executive order that took, that came into effect yesterday at midnight. And this mandate was to curb the spread of COVID-19 um, in federal and all public places. So he is making a mask mandatory um, in several different locations. So the first place that he's making it mandatory is like national parks, um, any federal monuments like the Statue of Liberty or a Washington Monument, all of those places that people gather, a mask will be mandatory. But he also added transportation to that list as well. So that's going to include buses, trains, airports, and not only just being on the vehicle, but actually also um, including the stations where you gather to wait, as well as the airport where you're at. So, um, and that is just the transportation part for all those people who are not really going on a destination. It also is going to include any taxis or ride share programs like Lyft and Uber. So a mask will always be, hey, Lenora, thanks for joining. So those masks will always be mandatory in all of those places. And it's making it very easy for, uh, good morning, it's making it very easy for the uh, airports and TSA to enforce those. So even though the airline has had a policy previous that you have to have your mask on when on the airplane, now because of the federal executive order, it's easier for them to enforce that law. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have TSA, they're gonna be denying entry into the airport if you do not have your mask on. They'll also be able to deny you boarding and continue transport. So if you were like on the airplane and you took the mask off and but you need to like transfer flights, then they'll be able to deny you boarding onto your next flight. And airlines, um, they've already been doing this, but now they're going to be able to enforce you putting a violator of the mask mandate policy on a no-fly list. So then you'll never be able to fly with that airline again. So that's why it's very important to, uh, you know, be abreast of when these mandates are going into place, when they're starting to take effect, which was yesterday at midnight, so that you guys can know that you got to mask up whenever you're going out. And also, if you break the rules, if you do not wear the mask in these areas, so like say you're at a bus station or a train station um, and police or someone else tells you, you know, you need to have your mask on and you violate that policy, it could lead to $35,000 in fees and also potential imprisonment. So this is a very new executive, very real new executive order that the president has put forth. So I just want to tell all of my family and friends about it to make sure that everyone who's out there traveling that you're traveling safe and you're abiding by all the new laws so i hope that you found value in this information and if you did please like share comment uh say hi in the comments um say thank you in the comments i appreciate all feedback um and if you guys are interested in planning your 2021 vacation destination i ask that you please reach out to me i'd be happy to assist you i'm doing a special travel showcase this saturday um message me if you're interested in attending i'd be happy to share the information with you i hope everyone enjoys the rest of their tuesday have a great day i'll chat with you guys later